In this video, we will learn about half wave rectifier. Rectifier converts AC voltage to DC voltage. We will connect a circuit for half wave rectifier. So, objective of today's experiment is to connect and test half wave rectifier circuit. Experiment. We are going to use CRO, power supply, plug board, diode, resistor, capacitors and wires. Now we will connect the circuit. To make the circuit, temporary circuit we have this board this board is called plug board right here some holes are given so in that we can plug in some different devices like this okay the symbol is drawn here this is diode these two plugs are given and inside that diode is there this is p of diode this is n so we can insert between these two different squares this diode like this okay Similarly, we have a resistor, one capacitor here with this value 100 microfarad means lower value. Another capacitor we have with one higher value here that is 2200 microfarad. So we will use all this in this half wave rectifier circuit. First of all, we will connect a diode, right? between any two different squares i am connecting between these two right and here output is taken across r so i will connect a resistor from this n i am connecting resistance between these two squares so output will be taken from here and according to our circuit you have studied the circuit according to our circuit the input connection is between these two so we will connect two wires one from here and another from here these two wires will be connected with the power supply right first we will prepare the circuit on the board then we will connect power supply and cro to check output we will connect two wires here one in this square another from here here output will be positive from the outside and black wire will be connected here so these two wires are for input and these two wires are for output that means it will be connected with the CRO now right and for smoothing we will connect two capacitors one by one first we will connect lower value capacitor and this will be parallel to this resistor like this but here we have to be careful we have to connect positive with positive on this diode side positive and this should be negative okay if it is connected wrongly it may burn or it may be damaged so be careful in connection of this now first reading here is without capacitor so i am removing this capacitor after that we will connect one by one both the capacitors now we will connect this with power supply and with this two wires with CR. So now we will connect that. We will check this. So now we will connect this input first. Input means with power supply. Right. This is rectifier circuit. Rectifier converts AC to DC. That means input must be AC. And here we know that this yellow terminals are AC. So I am connecting these two wires with AC. Now we will connect these two wires. Output wires with CR. This is CR. We have to connect positive with positive and negative with negative for this CR. Right. Before connecting this we have to set up CR. We know that how to set up this CRO. We learned this in chapter 5 also. Right. 
but here output is DC so if you are checking output if you are testing output it must be on DC and first you have to press ground switch now I will switch on this power supply okay and here you have to take around 3 volt no need to take more than 3 volt it will be okay now I will release this ground so here you can see half wave in output half wave DC but now you are not getting waveform here if you are not getting any waveform then what to do change this value here time base value so you can see the symbol signal but here the problem is height of this wave height means voltage so you can adjust this voltage gain right so now we are getting this type of output without capacitor but if you want to check input what to do press this ground again okay take this two wire out from the circuit and connect this two wires with input this is our input so you can connect here also or you can connect here also no problem with this wire or you can connect in the square same square that means it is connected with this here it is connected with this square so you can connect here so now this two wires of CRO means CRO is connected directly with this input so it will show you input means AC so first change this to AC this one then release ground you can see a wave input that is AC right now again I will check output again I'll press this ground output is DC so don't forget to change this switch now output where is output output is between these two terminal always across R okay again same reading we will get same thing we will get on the screen right now we will connect a capacitor for smoothing I'm pressing this ground now I'm taking lower value capacitor we have two capacitors 100 and 2200 first I will connect 100 this one is positive this one is negative first I will connect positive positive on this side with positive again I will tell you this one is positive this is negative now release this you will get smooth output ok now we will connect another capacitor higher value capacitor what will happen smoothing will be more again I am releasing this ground ok you will get almost a straight line in this so this are the reading for output we have to show three output signals one without capacitor and then two with capacitor one lower value capacitor and one higher value capacitor and one reading is for AC input here we have to show the signals because we are just testing this rectifier circuit right here we are not going to take any reading or we are not measuring anything okay so this is half wave rectifier circuit thank you